All right, I want to share this uh, um, message exchange with uh, Sep. The interesting with Sep is he actually, um, I use his questions with um, Satoshi as, you know, as, as a debate. And Sep has uh, followed my work since very early on. Um, so I, I sent him a link to the deck and talk, um, which is the latest one that talks about the fork and he replies about Bitcoin. And, and I basically say, I'm not against Bitcoin. Um, the thing is, is how I see it is I'm finishing Satoshi's work in the sense that Bitcoin is now being owned by the few and with the framework which is the fork of BitCloud. And the reason for BitCloud is it's the entryway to these BAPs. So the way that they are there, they have the technology to scale to a thousand users, the blockchain that they're using um, has to be robust. So forking it is no different than someone forking Bitcoin back in the day for Bitcoin Cash or Dogecoin or Litecoin or anything else. The underlying technology works and the fact that it works is the amount of money that's gone into it. So, um, and when I refer to money, it's how much Bitcoin. So I, I go through this here. You can read it on this. And he responds, right? Um, in any case, uh, I do not get how you're, how with a doubt is going to uh, suck capitalism dry. It's not going to suck anything dry. In essence, as I, as I put here, right? What is a BAP? A BAP uh, forking is completing. And by launching a smart DAO, what you're doing is you're sequestering all the Bitcoin for the community on it. In this in this smart DAO, which is just an AI uh, um, controlled DAO without anyone else touching it, and the beautiful thing here is organizations. This can be the unifying thing, and I've, I'm working with someone to get the technical documents for the smart DAO um, done, and working with AI folks. Right, it's really not that complicated, um, and all the Bitcoin going into it is tracked to the person. It issues a a daily UBI in the native token. So it's like, hey, thanks for buying this pizza. By the way, you know, um, the pizza, like a company can, an organization can run the smart DAO on it. And um, they take a native token instead of fiat. It's still exchangeable, just like Ethereum or anything else on a, on a car. It doesn't matter what token or Bitcoin or anything else. But what the smart DAO does is it, it puts all the Bitcoin into the DAO. And eventually, like all these DAOs are going to pull the liquidity out in the community and they become what's known as the Bitcoin standard or the, or the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund collectively behind it. And it's paying out this UBI to it. So this is really, really simple. And all these, these smart DAOs, in a way, form what's known as a, a kadetsu, what I call a beneficial kadetsu. There's no competition because all these all these uh, uh, entities are working together, right? So here is the network. So here's the mine calendar. Here's the network right here. This is where Bitcoin is right now. It's in personal wallets. And what we're doing is we're putting it here as the AI. And we're, here is it. Actually, this should be a turnaround. This open beneficial AI should be on the outset. This right here is, is the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund on that. So, and then this is all the blockchains that can run it. It's ubiquitous. It doesn't matter what blockchain we run it on. So, um, and I get some pushback here. No, Michael, you've seen is, is not enough unless you understand working. Uh, I don't think uh, participants can understand it. All right, so he doesn't understand. So I, so, you know, and then he lays out to me, Bitcoin as a platform is a honeypot to attract much Bitcoin as possible. Forking Bitcoin as a platform will introduce a redistribution mechanism. No, it won't because they're all interlocked. And the Bitcoin that goes in the platform stays in the platform. It doesn't leave. Um, there is no redistribution. The Bitcoin stays in the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund. What is issued is a, is a stable token, which is the native token, which is underwritten. And this is how stable tokens are working, right? They have an asset that backs the, the token. Um, that ultimately creates it as a stable token, um, whether it's the USD token or anything else. So these are the facts. Over 4,000 Bitcoin has been exchanged, right? And um, it went from 25, actually 24, and it's actually 48. It's doubled in one day. When I see tomorrow, I'll see what it's at. Another fact is Bitcoin is being hoarded, right? And the liquidity is in decline and will over time, you know, be valued in the millions. Bitcoin is going to 100 million. 
Um, and it's because of a platforms like BitClout that's going to drive it there because you have all these people. You know, you could it cost you twelve dollars a few day, uh, two days ago. Now it costs you twenty eight dollars to put Bitcoin onto you know onto the platform. Another fact um, is the fact of, of the token is is determined by the value of the network, right? So um, a down network is, is is structured by code, right? So um, and especially a smart DAO, it doesn't matter, you know, if, if, if you know, it, whether it's a network of pizzas or stool cools or universities, um, the, 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 you know, just the act of storing and putting the Bitcoin aside, right, as it's going to grow to the millions is going to provide, um, you know, it's going to take out the liquidity. So it's going to cause the price of Bitcoin to go up, which is going to cause your, 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 um, uh, UBI payment right so these can be existing networks schools organizations farms etc doesn't matter right the networks are there the DAO is just a mechanism that holds Bitcoin and turns fiat and other tokens into Bitcoin and holds it indefinitely issuing out a native you know um, um, uh, stable uh, token to the participants and all these stable tokens because they're all part of a smart DAO are all automatically interchangeable. You can put it on a Visa card or anything else and interact with your with your stable uh, native token and spend it. Um, you know, so um, this is the basis of the new paradigm right here. This is this is so huge when you wrap your head around it. It changes everything. Everything I describe above here is doable. It's a simple DAO run by AI that basically hold, 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 um, holds Bitcoin and trans, transfers it um, and, and keeps it, you know, safe. So just imagine a world where every transaction cr creates a UBI. As the price of Bitcoin goes up, so does the UBI, right? So, um, and here's a good example. Here is, they did 24.5, today they did 48. Tomorrow, what are they going to be doing tomorrow? So they did a million. Now this is going into the wallet of BitCloud Oz. I call them BitCloud Oz, right? In in our framework, these are all going to be going into the smart DAO, providing um, a UBI and a native token payout. So it always provides a UBI out there. You know, um, this is the crazy amount of money that's going into this new platform. This is why we're forking BitCloud.